Hey Gab, Facebook, YouTube, it's Kevin Newsom coming to you from Houston, Texas, wishing you and yours a very happy Thanksgiving week. The topic of today's discussion is once they guilt you, they've got you. You know, any psychologist worth his or her salt would tell you that if you're in a relationship that is unhealthy, where you're being guilted all the time, or made to feel guilty all the time, that you need to get out of that relationship. In unhealthy relationships, abusive relationships, guilt is one of the primary weapons that the abuser uses to control the victim. One-on-one -on -one interpersonal relationships are not the only area where people are constantly and consistently made to feel guilty. If you think about it, our various institutions in America do the exact same thing. Our elementary and middle schools, our high schools, our colleges and universities, our religions, our TV shows and movies, our politicians, our talk shows, even our friends on Facebook, how many times have we seen all of these institutions use guilt in order to control the way that you think or feel or behave? In fact, it's safe to say that for the past 50 years, the entire population of America has been in an abusive relationship. And that abusive relationship is with our various institutions, the ones that I just listed. Take a look around America right now. Take a look around at what is going on within the country. And I don't mean the news topics of the day. I don't mean the controversies and distractions of the week. I mean what's actually happening in America today. Every year in America, 88,000 people die due to alcohol alone. In America last year, 2017, over 27,000 people died from drug overdose. And to put that number into perspective, 15,000 people died due to homicidal gunshots. In addition to that, 13% of our population is on an antidepressant of some form. Now when you see these statistics, you may ask yourself, what's going on? That's a lot of unhappy people in America. People that are so unhappy and dissatisfied, they can no longer cope. They have to turn to some sort of chemical in order to get through life. Why is this? Why is this happening? Well, if we go back to the idea of abusive interpersonal relationships, of relationships that are based on emotions like guilt, we can begin to see an explanation for what's going on in America as a whole. Ask yourself, how do people who are in abusive relationships act? What are some of the symptoms of people who are being abused, who are being guilted nonstop in their personal relationships? depression, drug addiction, drug abuse, feelings of self-worthlessness, of self-doubt. In fact, the abuse and guilt can get so bad in relationships that people begin to question their own rationality. They begin to distrust their own logic. They begin to stop listening to their own intuition. It's no coincidence that we see those same types of symptoms spread out amongst the entire American population. The symptoms of drug addiction, the symptoms of drug use, the symptoms of drug abuse and overdosing, the symptoms of feelings of worthlessness, not being confident or sure of our own rational thoughts, of our own intuition. My friends, it's not a coincidence that the maladies that are striking the American people are almost carbon copies of some of the same maladies that affect people in abusive relationships. 
The fact is, we Americans have been abused for 50 years or more by our institutions, by the schools, the churches, the colleges, Hollywood, TV shows, and politics. And what's even worse is that through the institutions, 95% of this guilt that is constantly being produced and fostered upon the American people are for things that we as individuals have never actually done. We're being made to feel guilty for something we didn't even do. My friends, it's time to liberate ourselves from this false guilt. It's time to liberate ourselves from this endless barrage of abuse from our institutions. Quite frankly, if you've done nothing wrong yourself, you have nothing to feel guilty about. Now, I'm not suggesting that we become a nation of sociopaths. I'm not suggesting that we don't feel guilt when we do something wrong. If you've done something wrong, own up to it. If you need to make amends to the person that you've wronged, then learn from it and move on. So I'm not suggesting that we stop feeling guilt. What I'm saying is it's time we stop feeling guilty for things we haven't done. The same advice I would give to someone in an abusive relationship who is constantly being made to feel guilty over and over and over is stop feeling guilty for things you haven't done. Number two, get out of that abusive relationship. My friends, it's not only time to throw off this false guilt, it's also time to separate ourselves from these abusive relationships. It's time to stop listening to the mainstream media. It's time to stop listening to the guilt trips of Hollywood and television shows. It's time to stop being guilted and intimidated by our politicians and our churches and Hollywood. Quite honestly, it's time to free ourselves from all of these institutions. The time has come to free ourselves from this false guilt and equally as important to stop listening to the voices that use guilt as a technique and a tactic to control the ways that we think, feel, and behave. Because it is an unfortunate and fundamental truth. Once someone can make you feel guilty about something, they have the power to control the way you think, feel, and act. So for the betterment of the mental health of all Americans, my friends, it's time to throw off this false guilt. It's time to back away from any person or institution that tries to make you feel guilty for something you've never done. This is Kevin Newsom coming to you from Houston, Texas, wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving week and saying God bless each and every one of you. Bye.